Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a lightsaber in Photoshop. So this was actually one of the first tricks I learned in Photoshop after kind of learning my way around. Someone showed me a cool trick on how to create a really good looking lightsaber in Photoshop. So. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy and it gives you a much nicer looking effect than just using an outer glow, which is what I see most people do. And it just doesn't give you the nice effect that this does. So let's go ahead. This is a composite I did of my daughter in her Ray costume. And I like it, but the problem is this lightsaber just isn't that sexy. So what we're going to do is here you can see the layer and you can kind of see there that was the original photo and I cut it out but this lightsaber you can kind of tell that it's a fluorescent or some kind of bulb in there probably an LED with a bunch of different individual lights so what, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this one and then replace it so the first thing I'm going to do is just rather than cut it out of this mask because this mask is kind of my master mask i'm going to put it in a folder by clicking the folder icon down here and then clicking on this and dragging that into the folder and we can call this folder jedi and then putting a mask on the folder and if you want to kind of double mask something there's two ways to do that one is to take your layer and your mask and turn them into a smart object or take your layer and mask and put them into a folder and then add a mask to the folder. Now I'm going to go in the lasso tool here. I'm just going to zoom in here holding the space bar and command and then just go ahead and kind of select around here. Now one thing I always do when I use the lasso tool is hold down the option key. That way when I let go of the mouse it turns into the polygonal lasso as opposed to closing the selection. That just allows me to kind of click around here. Just like that. And then I want to fill with black, fill the mask with black. Because black is my foreground color right now, I'm going to hold Option and Delete. So there you go. I've now gotten rid of the existing one. I'm going to put a new layer above that and then go to my shape tool rounded rectangle i want to make sure it's on shape here i want the fill to be white and i want the radius to be 100 pixels it doesn't need to be 100 but 100 i know will cover my bases then i'm just going to go down here to the bottom kind of drag up i don't want it to be as thick as the one in the original photo because that's kind of much thicker than the lightsabers in the films. So about there looks good. And kind of happy with that. I want it to be a little more centered, so I'm just going to use my arrow key and just move that layer to about there. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm happy with the shape, so I can right mouse click and rasterize the layer. We can call this lightsaber. Now what I want to do is do Command J, which will make a copy of the layer. So layer via copy is Command J. Make sure you don't have any selection. So you can do a Command D to just make sure you have nothing selected. And what that does is it makes the entire layer your selection. So I'm going to do Command J. So there you go. You can see we have a copy of it. And I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And what I want to do here is I actually want to Gaussian blur it to the point where you almost don't see the blade anymore. So there you can see the blurred version. So right about there, you almost just don't see it anymore. It just is kind of like this very light fog in the background. So let's go ahead and make it 180. Let's hit OK. And we can call this 180. And then with select again the original lightsaber layer command j to make another copy and then i want to go back to my gaussian blur now if i go here 
Gaussian blur, what it'll do is it'll actually just blur it again. So I don't want that. What I want to do is go here, but then hold down Option. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the last effect with the settings that I had. So in this case, my radius was in 180. So you can see the effect has already been done to this radius. And we're going to change this to half. So 180, let's make it 90. And let's hit OK. And we can call this layer 90. And then go back to this layer, Command J again to make a copy of it. Now, the shortcut for this, by the way, so you can see here the shortcut is con um, Control Command F. If we do Control Option Command F, it'll bring up the last effect with the last setting. So this is just a faster way. And we're going to cut that in half again, 45. And then go to Lightsaber again, Command J. And this time we'll make it half. So let's make it 20. Let's keep it a little easier there. And then here we're going to do Command J again. We're just going to keep doing this. So now 10. And then 5. And then finally we'll do two and a half. Now, these last two, the 2.5 and the 5, I want to leave as is. I actually want those to be white because those will be just that little outer glow around the edge of the lightsaber. But 10 and up, I want to select all those. And I'm holding Shift while selecting the layers to select more than once. Then I want to go here and go to Merge Layers or Command E. We're going to call this color. And then we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And here, what I want to do is I want to colorize it. So click on the Colorize, put the saturation to 100, and then change the lightness to minus 35. And then you can just scroll around here to the color of the blade you want. In this case, I kind of want it a bluish, aqua bluish color. Actually, let's make it more pure blue. So it's the blue lightsaber. There you go. Let's hit OK. And we're going to put this on screen. And then if we want, we can make a copy, Command J. And there you go. Now we've got a really nice looking lightsaber effect. And if we take all these layers here, we can convert them to a smart object and then put them back on screen. And there you go. That is how you can create that nice lightsaber effect. Let's do Command-0 so you can see the whole thing. All right, there you have it. That's how you create a nice lightsaber effect in Photoshop. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a comment, like this video, any kind of contribution does help, meaning contributing, interacting with the channel does help. Um, I do look at all the comments. I do read them. I do try to reply to all of them. So go ahead. If, you, if there's something you want to know in Photoshop um, or if there's some skill that you're not sure of or something you'd like to, some effect that you want to learn how to do, please leave it in the comments. Um, otherwise, I do offer professional courses at Nucle.com, and I also have a Photoshop starter kit there that has a whole bunch of assets that are free. You just have to sign up for my newsletter. All right, I'll see you next week.